Cracksman stands at Darley's Dalham Hall in Newmarket and had his first crop of foals born this past spring. Although we may need to wait a little longer to see those first foals hit the full sale market, we paid a visit to Dalham Hall to speak to Jack Bloom about Cracksman. Yeah, Cracksman retired his Dalham Hall stud, um, having been trained by John Gosden. Uh, he retired as European champion at three and four. Um, he was time form rated 136 and was the highest rated son of Frankel to retired stud and actually the highest rated horse since Frankel to retired stud. He won two champion stakes in you know, great fashion. The first one beating Poet's Word by seven lengths, I thought it was just you know very, very impressive for any horse to win a race of that sort by that distance. It's, it's a great sign for when he retires to stud. Um, the second one, I think, Personally, it was my favourite. I, I was there um, after two very busy weeks at Tapsville. He won by six lengths um, off the back of a four month break, which again makes it all the more impressive. Since retiring at Dalham, he's, he's settled in really well to his new job. Whether it's walking in hand around the stud or down in the covering shed, he's a real professional. Um, in his first two seasons here, he's covered 269 mares. Um, and in his second season in 2020, he covered more stakes winners than any other second season stallion. He's let down beautifully. You know, he's a strong athletic horse. He's got a good step, a good mind, um, and he's really easy to deal with. I think breeders were very excited about him coming to Dalham. Um, he's been well supported all around. Um, breeders such as Robin Sharp from Houghton, let's talk, um, Stephen Hillen, uh, they've all been very complimentary of him. And there seems to be a an all-round feeling of, you know, they're nice first holes on the ground. They seem to have, you know, an athletic profile, light on their feet, a good eye, good mind. Um, uh, yeah, what, good to deal with. I think there's a good representation of, of him as a, as a sire. In terms of foals, I think 40% of the foals offered are out of black type mares or black type performing mares, um, which is, you know, it's great for him and great for the vendors. In terms of uh, mares in foal to him offered, I think there's, there's mares offered in, from the families of Batash, Tasli, um, and Naif. So, you know, that's another great sign that he's being supported with, you know, good mares from good families. When I started here mid last year, I, I started on the Stallions, having never worked with them before. Um, and it's, you know, it's a big step coming from working with mares and foals and yearlings onto a Stallion yard, but he was a great horse to, you know, to, to work with for the first time. He's very professional, a lo lovely horse to look after, to deal with. Um, He's, you know, he's the ultimate professional. He's, he takes everything in his stride. He's as good as they come, really. Mm -hmm.